that is recording the screen now. Okay. So I'm on endless OS here, but it should be the same as in Ubuntu. I'm going to open OBS. If you get a first run dialog that says something like optimize for streaming or recording, just choose recording and that's it. By default, it will do 1920 by 1080, which is usually what you want. Um, you can change that in the settings under video canvas resolution. So, um, yeah, I'm going to select my screen resolution, uh, which it should default to or have an option for here. But yeah, you can choose what you want to do and output scaled resolution. Again, I'm going to choose the same as my screen and I can choose 60 frames per second. Um, yeah, that's just to make it simpler. If you have a 1920 by 1080 screen or just want the defaults, you can just leave it. So I'm going to add a source called screen capture. And there's my screen. Sorry, you get some inception going on here. You can leave everything default. Now uh, you can see my screen in here. I'm going to add a source called a video capture. You don't have to name this anything, but I'm going to put webcam just so it's easy for me to keep track of. My camera defaults to the infrared, but you can add, um, you can select multiple devices. Okay. It's a uh, drag and drop. Red, a red selection means you have it selected. So if I click here, it's red. If I click it again, it unselects it and selects what's behind it. So then I can move this. Um, you can control Z. So I'm gonna move my camera down to the bottom corner. Now you can right click either down here in the, um, where it says the source, or you can right click directly on the canvas. I, for, for me, it's just easier to right click on the source, to make sure I have the right thing. And I'm gonna add a filter. I'm gonna add an effect filter called an image mask. And I'm going to call this a circle. Again, this doesn't matter. The name doesn't matter. And I'm going to add this circle mask that I previously created. And I just want the alpha channel because um, it's a transparent uh, image. And there we go. I have a circle. So one tip for this is the, the circle that you create here, I will show you in um, in Inkscape, I guess. Uh, my recommendation is don't have the circle go to the very edge of the canvas. It seems like when you have the circle going to the very edge, rounding errors can cause it to do weird things. So just leave a little bit of gap. So for example, here I have a 512 pixel canvas and a 500 pixel circle. So there's six pixels around the edge, just to make sure it doesn't go to the very, very edge. Exported it as a PNG. Doesn't matter what color it is because you only care about the alpha. Um, I did green because that's nice and easy to see. Um, okay. So I chose that here. Again, color doesn't matter here. Opacity, you want to be 100% or one. And close, and now you can see in the preview, I have my little circle of my face. And then if I you know, position it however I want, uh, you can hit start recording. Now I'm recording twice, which is probably gonna kill my frame right here. And then you know, I can record, um, record my screen. I've got a circle in the bottom left what's being recorded, hi. This is, you know, an example video, cool, neat. And then um, hit stop recording and you're done. But also, yeah, your audio input here, it should choose the default. You can hit the little gear to choose um, the properties. It's choose a specific device if you want. By default, it's probably gonna be the right thing. Um, but yeah, that's it. You have, it's just like kind of a WYSIWYG. Here's your sources. You can add picture overlays if you want. You can do filters with like, you can do all sorts of things. What else can you do? Um, you can chroma key. So if you have a green screen behind you, you can chroma key that out if you want. You can do crazy stuff like that. You can do, um, I guess I don't know what audio video filters are. But yeah, that's, that's basically it. You can enable them, disable them here. Um, yeah, easy peasy.